Hello family and friend, how are you doing today? Is a gorgeous day and I welcome you to this day and also to these live brokers, encouraging you to join me as we seek and spread knowledge. You are welcome wherever you are and feel free to share with me and uh, I have something to share with us bravely. It's very, very great and uh, I, I hope that uh, People that still believe in God, they cannot see. The God that cannot help them in time of need. We just reason with me and begin to see senses. I mean, see reasons. Uh, at work, um, I just coming back from work. So, so at work, we had that deep discussion always about God. Starting with all this uh, uh, cathedral burning, mosque burning, I say, where is God? So the people that believe in God say it is God's will. I say, you telling me that all the laws they recorded in that um, in that cathedral. So one of them say, no, they recovered all the artifacts. Nothing happened. I say, that's what they told you, right? Did they tell you the roof did not fall too? The roof collapsed. <laughs> I say, where was God? I say, you say God is all, 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 all powerful. He say yes. God is uh, all knowing. He say yes. And God is everywhere. He say yes. Where was God when that uh, cathedral <laughs> God catch fire? Where was God? He was not there. I I just I just you know wish that people we use the happen the present events and wake up from that slumber religion put. Oh, so today I want to share with us what I titled, When is your creation day? If you believe God created you, oh, no problem, but you have to prove it. First, you have to prove the day or give us the date that God created you. I'm not talking about the date you said I gave my life to Jesus. No. God created you first, you believe, before your parents gave birth to you. So you know your birthday. That's the day your mother gave birth to you. The day your parents brought you into this world. You know that date, right? You know that day. Okay. So why don't know your creation day? And you believe that God is greater than your parents. You stupidly believe that God is wiser than your parents. And not that you stupidly believe that. Your parents also stupidly believe that. And they are okay with that. But they don't know that that is an insult to humanity. Insult to human being. Because human beings are greater than God. They are wiser than God. They are stronger than God. But religion came and made them lower. That's what religion did. And still doing. Everyone that have religion or belong to any religion is has been brought lower. Lower than they supposed to be lower they are on the lower level of life they are delusional they are gullible they don't know what they worship so the question is this when is your creation day when is your creation day and some people will say why well, every time god you're talking against god you know if god exists i won't be talking against god you're supposed to know that if God exists, you won't be accusing me of talking against God because God will handle me himself. But you are the one speaking for God, defending that God to show. He does not exist. That God does not exist. Jehovah does not exist. Yahweh does not exist. Yah or Jah does not exist. Jesus does not exist. Yahweh does not exist. Jehovah does not exist. Allah does not exist. Those God that men fear and worship, but you cannot see them. Or you have to mold something to say represent him that God does not exist. If God exists and is alive, he will show himself. Okay, you say, but God created the world. That's what you believe. But if you believe that God created the world, you see, like the stars, the moon. So maybe God died because people, after they create things, people die. So maybe God is dead. So there's no way you can defend God successfully unless delusional, um, um, being very religious, defending the indefensible. So, but I, I want to use what they call the word of God to show you that you're supposed to know your birthday. You're supposed to know, I mean, your creation day, the day that God created you. If you know the day your mother gave birth to you, 
Why wouldn't you know the day God created you? You're supposed to know. You are bold. You say God created you. God gave you life. You, and you, you, you say it as if you know what you're saying. You stand strong. You are against me for telling you God did not create you and God did not give you life. God did not, um, God cannot help you. God cannot keep you alive. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can you prove that belief? Can you be prove that faith in God that God created you? I want to know the day that God created you. You say, but stop talking about God. I want, I, I'm applying the wisdom of the four, the four lepers in your Bible. In your Bible, remember the four lepers, they were driven, driven out of the city, right? People don't want to associate with them. But when they look at the camp of the enemy, they find that everybody has run away. They say, you know what? If we go back to the city, they will not welcome us. You know, we go to these people, they will kill us. I say, we stand in between them. We will die of hunger. You know what? Let us go and die in the camp of the enemy. Let us go. It's better than since our people rejected us because we are lepers. Let us go to the enemies. We know they will kill us. Lo and behold, when they went there, the armies, they ran away. So the camp was empty of people, but full of salt and supplies. They ate, they ate. So one of them said, what are we doing, man? You know, <laughs> what are we doing here? Let us go and alert our people. Let us go and tell them. They did not keep it to themselves. And that's what we, the woke nation, are doing. If you are working, don't keep it to yourself. Don't mind their threats. Don't mind their ranting. Don't mind all the nonsense they are telling you because you are telling them the truth. They say, shut up. Stop talking. About, just mind their religion. Mind their faith. Even though they know you don't have religion no more. You don't have faith. You don't have belief. But you have the truth. Which is nature. Truth is, is nature. Nature is truth. So truth is truth. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It cannot change. But religion changes. Faith changes. Belief changes. Things changes. That's why the things you see in the Bible, it can never have manifest today. You only believe that. Alright? So, I'm applying the wisdom of the lepers to help you to enjoy the, 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 the sweetness of freedom, the sweetness of liberty, the sweetness of truth. Because when you know the truth, it will set you free from every bondage, especially the religious bondage. And that's why I will never give up sharing the whole truth with you free of charge. Right? So, you said, oh, maybe God is a spirit. You cannot say, oh, no, God is not a spirit. You say, what do you mean? Because he created you in his own image and likeness. You are not a spirit. You are a human being. Let us stop believing that lie. God is a spirit. Who told you God is a spirit? The Bible. God never tell anyone he's a spirit. Is there anyone that will come and tell me that God tell him, to, tell him face to face or told her face to face that he is a spirit? God never said that. Man said that. God never said anywhere. But you see how all of us just blindly believe that because we were indoctrinated and brainwashed to believe that. Nobody has asked questions about that. But we have to be ready, prepared to question everything. I'm questioning everything, including whatever nonsense they told me about God. They told me that God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit. But it's not true. If God is a spirit, so God created us a spirit. If God is invisible, we are also supposed to be invisible. Okay. You say God is a spirit. And those who worship him, worship him in spirit. Have you seen anybody worshiping God in spirit? Every people that worship God, worship God in the flesh. They worship God in the natural. There is no such thing as a spiritual worship. You cannot worship God. You cannot prove that God exists even spiritually. You cannot. It's all make-believe. It's all made up. It's all lies. They lie to us in the name of God. And we swallow it. So my co-worker said, Oh, Jesus is not a, it's not a, like human being you can see. It's a spirit. 
I say, see how you say it as if you know what you are saying. But the word of Jesus himself, Jesus saying he's not a spirit, according to Luke chapter 24, 36 to 43. Jesus said, I am not a spirit. Touch me and touch me, feel me and see. And also give me some food, let me eat. Spirits don't eat food. You cannot touch spirit. After resurrection, not before resurrection, Jesus was touched. Jesus ate food. So why today you cannot touch Jesus and Jesus cannot eat food with you? Even while you are claiming that you are eating his flesh and his blood in your church, Jesus never appeared to participate, to show you by example. But those things are lies they taught us. But this God you are talking about, you said God is almighty. If God Almighty cannot show Himself, how can you still prove that He's Almighty? You cannot. God is not Almighty. If God is Almighty, He will show Himself even right here on this screen and end all the confusion, end all the doubt, end any, any argument we are having about it. The reason why I am arguing about God is because you believe in God. If you don't believe in God, I won't be here telling you anything about God. Because they taught us to believe in God. And we have been believing in this God for many years. Yet, no one has seen this God. So I, I want to encourage you to ask that God, when was your creation day? When was the day God created you? God supposed to tell you that day. Just as your parents told you the, your, your, your birthday, even though they switch some of us in, uh, during birth, like in the hospital. Some nurses were paid. Maybe some people were looking for male children. They pay some nurse. Male, they, are, they steal male children, male child from uh, another woman, and they switch it. You know, some people switch. We are switch at birth, right? But their parents, whoever their parents, we tell them this. This was the day you were born. Whether they are wrong, uh, wrong or right. The, that's the mother that she knew the day she went to hospital and bring that child forth or wherever she got she had birth she know the day so if your parents know the day you were born how about god you believe god is greater than your parents you believe god is wiser than your parents you believe god is almighty your parents are not you believe god is perfect your parents are not why you that believe in that god don't know your birthday and you know you will not ask him because you know he will not answer. You cannot ask God your birthday because you know he will not answer. But look at a place in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. What did God say there? He said, call to me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you know not. Knowing your creation day is not even among the great and mighty things you're supposed to know. It's not among them. So knowing your birthday because it's already happened. It's not something that, that is impossible. No, you're, you're already, God already created you. So there was a date or a day that God created you. You say God created you in Adam. It's not true. He did not say that. God, he said creation. He said God created you. If God created you in Adam, which means God did not create you. God created Adam and Eve according to your Bible. God did not create any other person after Adam and Eve, if you understand what creation is. So God is not your creator. You say, okay, you came from Adam and Eve. No, you were born. You were not created. Think, think. Adam and Eve were created. And why is it Adam and Eve look like you when they, when they show you the picture? Adam have belly button. But you say God created him. It's only people that we are born, you know, when they cut that, that's where it goes. That have belly button. So who born, who gave birth to Adam? <laughs> so, but you know that the story of Adam is just fairy tale. It's a useless story they used to deceive us. You know, they use it to create this, what is called white supremacy. And that, that was why it's a shameful thing for black person or black people. To believe in the Bible. Because Bible is against you. No matter how you think there is treasure in there, there is good in there. You can learn from it, of course. You learn from every book. Every book in the shelf, you can read and learn from them. But 
the Bible was never written in your favor or to be for you. Yesterday, today, or tomorrow, the more you claim the Bible, the more gullible you become. But you have to ask yourself, this God I believe created me. When did God create me? All of us were not created the same day. Adam and Eve did not, uh, were not created the same day. Excuse me, right? It's in your Bible. God created Adam first before he created Eve. Even in their formation, the same thing. God did not form them the same day. So if you say God created you, you're supposed to know you are dead. But do you know that nobody know the day God created Adam and Eve yet? But the reason why I'm saying this, why should it be in oblivion? Why should it be in, in, in darkness? Why should it be in, in secret? It's supposed to be something every one of us know, just like every one of us know our birthday. You didn't know when your mother gave birth to you, but you know, because they, your mother told you. So you, you may not know when God created you, so God's supposed to tell you. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call on me. You have been using that portion of the Bible to claim that is phone number of God of a number to heaven. Jeremiah 333. That is how you direct direct to heaven. Yet heaven never responds. God never pick your call. He never answer your prayers. Yet you believe He's answering them. Don't you see you are stupid? Religion makes people stupid. It's not your fault. Remember, I don't blame you until you hear the truth. When you hear the truth like the one I'm sharing and you're still arguing, you're still believing in that God, then you are stupid. You are the one that makes yourself stupid. You choose to be stupid. Nobody forces you to be stupid. You were indoctrinated to be stupid in your religion. You were brainwashed in your religion to be stupid. As our ancestors were forced to be stupid. They were forced. But nobody forced you. They indoctrinated you. They brainwashed you. It's another form of forcing you. But they didn't force you like they did on our ancestors. But you, you were just uh, indoctrinated and brainwashed with the words. With the words. That's all they use. The tool they use was the word. And they tell you the, in the beginning was the word. That's what they used to brainwash you to, to indoctrinate you. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And by that word, all things we are created. That's why they brainwash you. That's why they enslave you mentally. That's why they indoctrinated you. They used words. And that's why we are using words to save, set you free. The word today is... When is your bed creation day? If that God exists, that God is alive, and you say he's all wise God. In other words, he knows all things. Why is your God don't know your creation day? Let God tell you that. And don't let God say that. That God is dead. That God has eyes, he cannot see. That God has nose, he cannot smell. That God has mouth, he cannot speak. That God has ears, he cannot hear. That God has hand, he cannot do anything for you. That God has legs, he cannot walk. That God is idol. That God is man-made. That God is dead. That God cannot tell you you are creation day. You say you were created with Adam and Eve. Ask that God the day he created Adam and Eve. He will never answer you. You cannot know it. Yes, I'm declaring it to you. If you believe in God, that God can never tell you the day you were created. Because that God does not exist. Let this open your eyes. So you can see that man made this God you fear and worship. And I want you to know this. You are greater, you are stronger, and you are wiser than any God you believe in and worship, but you cannot see. That God does not exist. Invisible God is imaginary God. And you should not waste your time and your life for that God again. Wake up. Let the, the present events open your eyes. What is happening around you? You have some problem in your life or in your family. That God cannot help you. Yet you keep commit, commenting on Facebook saying, God, God can, God can do this. God, God cannot do anything, my people. Nothing will happen to you if you say that. Nothing, nothing. You say a fool saying his heart, there is no God. Who put that nonsense in the Bible? How do you know what somebody says in his heart? 
You know, think about that. You say I'm a fool because I said there is no God. That was nonsense. That was old claim that nobody can prove. I didn't say in my heart there is no God. I say with my mouth there is no God. And I can prove there is no God. I can prove that right now. God cannot do anything. God cannot comment on, on this on this post, on this video. God cannot show himself on this screen. But my fellow human being that have smartphone also can show on this screen and speak at the same time. God cannot do that. So this is what I want to share with us. I want you to think about it. You that is still, that still believe in God, when is your creation day? You believe God created you. Then you need to know your creation day. Then you celebrate it the same way you celebrate your birthday. And those of you that don't believe in God anymore, but embrace the truth, and you are woke now, you are waking now, you, you, you love the truth more than religion, don't keep quiet. Don't let them put shut you down. Keep seeking and spreading knowledge. You are perfect. You are not imperfect. You know a lot more than anyone can believe. Thank you. Peace.